I rehabilitated a wasp and um, this actually isn't my first one because they are pollinators uh, I do uh, try to help them as well as uh, honeybees whenever I can came home a couple of nights ago and uh, as I got out of my truck uh, almost stepped on her saw this wasp uh, laying on the driveway and uh, she was in a bit of distress uh, upside down and it couldn't couldn't really stay upright um, uh, she was throwing her uh, abdomen around uh, sticking her her stinger out and um, uh, her tongue protruding you could tell she was she was in some uh, pain and uh, suffering and uh, I brought brought her in the house you know it's uh, after dark so uh, wasn't quite for sure what happened to her but uh, in in the fall the uh, the queen wasps they try to uh, uh, you know make nests and, and find places to, to hold up uh, hopefully survive the winter the majority of the other wasp uh, the workers and whatnot they, they'll die off so I didn't know what was happening brought her in the house and she seemed to be in such a state of, of suffering you know where she was just rolling around and um, dragging her her back legs only her her front legs were working and she wasn't able to fly or anything at, at all and uh, I just about um, euthanized her I had um, taken a cotton swab with some um, some ether and I was gonna drop her in a vial and put her out real quick and uh, I started to do a quick video. I decided not to because I was I was just about to uh, at that time uh, euthanize her, and um, I opted against it because I didn't think there would be much to uh, to video that uh, I wouldn't be able to do anything for her but euthanize her. Um, but as a uh, just a, a hail mary, I I didn't know my two possibilities were uh, maybe she had gotten into some. Uh, um, some pesticide around here somewhere, you know, maybe uh, organophosphate um, pesticide or maybe some other creature at night, maybe a, a spider or something had um, uh, crawled over and, and bit her. But uh, just as a Hail Mary, um, because I do learn things from this, um, as crazy as it may sound, I took um, some atropine sulfate which uh, is what is actually used if you have like organophosphate um, poisoning uh, like a nerve agent you know it's the thing you see in the movies thing we used in the military atropine auto injector you uh, inject yourself in the thigh with it um, contrary to what the movies say you, you don't jab it into your heart you jab it into your thigh muscle but uh, anyway so I had some of this stuff some uh, eye drops atropine sulfate and uh, I decided to drop some of it on her thorax to see if it would be absorbed and if maybe that would help her if she had, um, you know, with her seizures, if she had gotten into some, um, some pesticide. And then to try to ease her suffering and then maybe just go ahead and let her, you know, pass if that's what she was going to do. I, I dipped a little cotton swab, not this one, but a different one, in some ether. Kind of put her out, put her in a... a a brief state of um, anesthesia. Uh, left her that way and uh, left her in the vial. Expected her in the morning to be dead because that looked like the way she was headed. And I wake up that morning and she's alive and kicking. She's got her um, her wings are all out. She's crawling around kind of like she is now. So she seems to be completely recovered and uh, I gave her some um, some hummingbird nectar in the meantime and a little slice of apple to get her energy up and rehydrate oops and now I'm gonna release her I'm sorry baby there you go and there she goes fly fly away right up into that tree you can't see her but I see her Just maybe about six feet down from the top pretty amazing. Rehabilitate a wasp. 